Bloomy, they say, couldn't find the hole in a bagel. Her challah is missing a braid. She can't remember which is her side of the Eruv. Eager for her to be married, her parents conspire to advertise in the personals, and Adirondack Mendel arrives looking for love. But Bloomy won't have anything to do with him. They might never have come together if not for Ufruf, the talking spy dog who learned Abyssal Yiddish when he worked for Colin Powell. In her anxiety, anticipating their marriage, Bloomy implores Adirondack Mendel to gain the respect of the community. But first, he confesses, he's not Jewish. How can he convert, since he's an atheist? How can he lead the Shabbat service when he doesn't believe in prayer? Only Rabbi Chaim, who looks to heaven, a.k.a. Rabbi Chaim Shmayim, can find solutions to these vexing problems. It all takes place in Chelm's Pond, where the ridiculous stories of Helm meet the preposterous tall tales of the Adirondacks and surprise you with compelling questions about the nature of God, the essence of religion, and the meaning of prayer. You're invited to Adirondack Mendel's Ufruf. Welcome to Helm's Pond.